Massive rain leaves us flooded and dealing with water management issues. Getting that drain installed was uh, a priority. It's been a month of high highs and low lows as we move on without a member of our family and begin a new project. It'll be beautiful if we can figure out how to get it done properly. As you guys know, we recently seeded our dirt lot in hopes of turning it into a grassy lot. We're first timers at this, so we weren't really sure how it was going to go, and we were quite nervous about the project. Well, about a day after having seeded everything, we had two days of just torrential downpours, which resulted in our driveway being completely washed out all the way down to the culvert pipes being visible and the road being impassable. I'm going to share up my shell pile. I'm going to take it down to the end of the driveway and fill everything back up. Um, it's going to happen again. It's unfortunate. Uh, when we get nasty rains like that, those two cover pipes we have installed are too small. I need to take both those out and probably put a 36 inch in there. When it dries up this summer, we'll pull it out and we'll change it out then. So that's fixed. Did like six or seven runs, not a big deal. It doesn't need a permanent fix, but that will hold until next spring comes around with the same storm coming back. Josh worked to fill the driveway back in and we are now able to use the driveway, but best of all, we have successfully grown grass or started to grow grass. <laughs> it wasn't a fail. No, it was not. <laughs> Look at all that grass. Might be thin in some spots. If you get down to the elevation of the grass, you can see how thick it is. It's still new, it's still young, but it's coming in. <laughs> Seriously, Josh? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm happy for you that you have a grassy lawn. I really am. I'm excited. It's uh, one of those things that I didn't know I, I loved, but now that I have it, I love it. <laughs> so it's coming along. But we haven't planted grass on this side because we're obviously going to tear this side up today. We got to take the French drain that we did in the back side months and months ago and wrap it around the front of the back side of this house and come in front of the porch. And once we get to the porch, we got to take it underneath the sidewalk. Then we got to build a sidewalk also. So we have a lot of things to do. That's why we're going to plant grass. And once this is done, we're seeding this bad boy. And we're going to be fully green everywhere. So exciting. Oh my God. I can't, I can't I believe it worked. I'm wait. still shocked. I know, me too. <laughs> it's so patchy, but I'll reseed. I'll make it thick. So <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That's good. You have enough room. It's so funny because as soon as we put the ducklings out here in the little tractor, which is now a little duckling tractor, our guard goose just instantly fell in love with them. So he just walks around the little coop thing all the time, checking on his little ducks and making sure that they're okay. So we've been coming out here every day and letting the ducklings out during the day so that they can spend time with him because he's become like the papa goose here. He leads everybody around and makes sure that they're fine. So even though they're small compared to our larger turkeys and our full grown hens, there's no problem with them because the guard goose has their back. You got him? Ha <laughs> 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 
Yeah, our guard goose means business. He doesn't want anybody messing with his little ducklings. Look at him, he's not even good water. He's on the lookout. He is, I know. <laughs> 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 they're playing in the water, they like it. I know, wait till they see the pond. Yeah, I believe it's so as soon as we get a little like duck and goose house built down at the pond, we're going to move that entire group down to the pond so that they can just enjoy their little ducky life. <laughs> So we're done with the mini X. We've got a little trench dug up for us. We're gonna install a perforated pipe along the edge of the house and it's actually gonna to go towards the porch and come in front of the porch and change over to a solid piece of pipe and come out. Where the perforated pipe is, we're gonna fill that trench up with stone. So when rain comes off the house, it'll hit the trench and get diverted through the trench, hit the perforated pipe, fill it up, go down and hit the solid pipe and then pour out. Small layer to start. Yeah. Let's get the pipe in. There you go. You ready to do this? Yes. No more shoveling. We gotta show what's coming back in there though. No. I'll do the pipe, you do the shoveling. Very light. Good job, sweetie. Girl, you and mommy are gonna do the pipe, okay? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna connect the perforated pipe to the non perforated pipe using a coupling. Uh, I'm gonna put a sleeve over the perforated pipe. It's gonna come, it'll go over on top of the uh, non-perforated, just a couple of feet, it's gonna stop. The sleeve acts as a, uh, like a barrier for uh, dirt or mud to go into the pipe to clog the pipe. So it keeps a nice good barrier around the pipe so nothing can get in the pipe um, and clog the pipe. How many times you get to pipe? <laughs> <laughs> so, that being said, the perforated side we're gonna cover with uh, stone. The non-perforated side, we will just backfill with dirt. Okay, that's back though. The next round, I think we're just gonna dump it right there. <laughs> that was tough. If all the trees weren't here, it'd been a lot easier. I'd have backed that uh, dump trailer right up to the trench and, it, whoosh, and we'd have spread it out that way. But we don't have that luxury here. So he had me shovel instead. So she shoveled instead. You know what? I not use my tractor. Um, I pushed the tree over my tractor and uh, I probably shouldn't have pushed it because I messed the. Uh, Put a loader up on it. I gotta get it fixed. So that's what I did the hard way. That's why I had my, my sweet, sweet, daring, loving wife give me a hand because she can shovel with the best of them. <laughs> it's never easy being told you're not enough. You don't fit this mold. That bitter feeling, no sugar coating that. It'll knock you down. Your tears to freeze on. It hurts to lose something you once had had. Take a good look around all the good things you still have. Nothing. 
Your water coming? No. <laughs> we, we had the hose on. It takes a lot more than that to fill this up. <laughs> the purpose of that is all the rain that comes off the roof that goes down is going to hit that and it's going to come on out. But we are just getting excited and wanted to see it. Uh, flow. I mean, I mean I, it can work. We gotta keep that going for a while, I think, but I don't think, nah, don't think it's worth it. We don't want to waste the water. No, nah, we'll turn it off. Gotta wait for our next big rain. It's be next week. There will be another. There will be another one. Something new to fall into. It'll be a better one. There will be another. There will be another one. Someone you will hold on. So we got that drain installed. It's been lacking for a while. It's been needing to go in. We finally got it in. It's a check mark off my list, so I'm excited about that. So we're ready to move on, and uh, we're gonna get started with the uh, sidewalk and getting that sidewalk coming from the stair out to the driveway. So this is actually our first project without a chuck. It's kind of tough. Aaron's having a hard time right now. Okay. Okay? Yeah. That sucks. I know. I feel bad, I'm upset. You've been so good for like for so many days now. I know. I think it was just this our first project, and you know, getting stamp, giving the stamp of approval. Just feels it feels a little bit like it's a little bit, you know, yeah. quieter and. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. You okay. You hadn't made me go back to his grave to get the wheelbarrow. <laughs> I probably would have been fine. You noticed it when you went back there? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> so we buried Chuck. There's four trees, perfect tr trees, standing straight up. And it's a perfect square. So we actually, he's right over there. We have actually buried him right in the middle. Yeah. So we got flowers going down too. We're getting a headstone. <sighs> <laughs> You're not. You know. Turns off. <laughs> <laughs> So if I get the tape measure, make a pad right there, the bottom step, we'll figure the size fit out. They're probably four feet deep, and they'll probably come in like that, and it'll be a nice curved walkway. Easier said than done, but it'll be beautiful if we can figure out how to get it done properly. The base is going to be concrete, and then we're going to be using the same stone that we're putting around the side of the foundation to um, put on top. So it's going to go all the way out from the front porch and weave a little bit through the trees to the parking area. So we'll finally have a sidewalk and we won't be walking through dirt and mud anymore. We're going to have grass and a sidewalk. <laughs> and hopefully a driveway. And then, then the driveway is next. <laughs> So if we bring it down like that, we come down and start bowing it in. Let this guy come out straight. And then we can start bowing him in. Yeah. Right? Does that look better? Yeah. And we'll come like this. Measure that. We want to stay roughly three feet, right? Yeah, so two people can walk side by side.
Hey, did you get it on? Yeah. You got it on, huh? Yeah. You go. No, you're good, man. Let me see. Wow, good job, dude. Yeah, he's here pulling in. I'm super proud of you, I'm not gonna lie. When I was a kid, I had to work on my dirt bike tail. And uh, I'm glad I had to do this for you. I'm glad you did it yourself. Super, super proud of you. Good, good job. Good job, Hayde. Nice. So, Hayde took a little spill on his dirt bike. He broke the little clutch lever right here, it was snapped off. And uh, yesterday, he actually uh, went through and found the part. I called for him and I ordered it. And uh, he put it on today. So, I'm super proud of him. Day breaks in a single man. One hammer and two hands. He begins with a nail and plane. Steel pushing through the wood grain. And all the racket he makes from his one man crew draws another man seeking a build too. Now with four strong arms and one desire, ballots move along in double time. Hey, brother. It's time to put your hands on us. We're building a stage to stand on. We're building a stage to stand on. Getting taller and taller. The ground it began on. We're building a stage to stand on. Building a stage to stand on. So all in all, that went pretty well. We used uh, one by 12s, I had those here. I think I had those extras from when we did the faux beams on the inside of the house. We've been saving the entire time. It would've been a lot easier if we used uh, OSB and I stripped them down to small, I guess smaller uh, pieces. Um, it would flex a lot easier and it wouldn't snap. The issue I'm having with these, at the knots, they're, they're breaking and snapping, I'm scabbing them all together, but I saved money. So all in all, it went very well. And I think uh, looking at it now, the way we have it, it might be a little bit too small. We're gonna I think, widen it up a little bit. I want to be sure the sidewalk slopes, and it does. It all slopes that way, so when it rains, it's not gonna puddle up on there. It's actually gonna go off that way. Like the whole grade of the land goes out that way. Thank you. 